Wow. That was perfect timing with the music. It like stopped and started a new song just as that was ending. Fantastic. <sighs> okay, here we are, bright and early. Uh, yeah, here we go. Um, good morning. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my squeaky chair. I don't have any WD-40. Um, so that's, or I don't know what else you could use to to fix a squeaky chair. I suppose I could always get a new chair, but this is, this is the comfortable chair. Maybe. It's probably not really that comfortable. Anyway, um, I should have started this stream off on the train of thought screen. Um, because, you know, we're just, I've had my cup of coffee this morning. I did also have breakfast, so hopefully that like balances out the caffeine, but man, brain's working, working hard today. Um, working hard and hardly working at the same time. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, I hope you guys, I hope we're gonna get through this, the stream today. We are, I promise. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here's the plan for today. <clears throat> um, so I'm still working on the coffee guy. Um, gotta figure out how to make the latte art look like I want it to. Um, also side note, uh, I may be regretting my hair to clothing, uh, combo choice. For one, because I noticed that with this when looking in the camera, it looks like I only have one centered, like, s string, uh, hoodie string. I don't know what these are technically called, but listen, listen, this is a, uh, fashion hoodie. Is that the wrong side? So it does in fact have two. They're off-centered for the sake of fashion. So I just, just to clear that up in case anyone's wondering, probably no one was. But, okay, here we go. So I'm gonna try and take a page out of Sketchy Eli's uh, book and we're just gonna, we're gonna go with colors today. Um, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and get four characters done. Possibly, don't, uh, oh man, I shouldn't have said that. This is recorded, we're gonna be able to play this back. Um, possibly four characters and or whatever's looking good um yeah we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of play around with stuff and chill today uh still working on some um like finalizing some designs for my other characters that looks good okay um, so yeah, um, oh, I did want to pull up some face references just because, uh, yeah, yeah, just because. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Just to, just so I don't get stuck on, like, figuring out what someone's face should look like. Okay. Okay, okay. That's probably not what I was looking for, but that's all right. We'll come back to it. I don't have any faces on the screen yet, so. Okay. How is everyone out there doing? Or feel free not to answer if you're just looking for uh, an art stream to hang out on and not, not chat in the chat at all. Uh, hello, Sauna Romance. Thank you for following. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, let's make this a little smaller. Uh, okay, so I do have a bunch of, I mean, I say a bunch, but there's like half a dozen uh, foods to choose from that I was kind of feeling today. So... If one gets boring, or if I get stumped on one, maybe I will just jump to the other. Uh, let's see. 
we're just gonna find like a brush. Oh, <laughs> I see the problem here. Um, oh, that looks, oops, that looks pretty fine. That's pretty good, good enough for an outline. I'll add a little bit of smoothing on that because a cup of coffee will do that. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. All right. Definitely not what I wanted it to do. And I might have to go with the... I don't know. We'll see how this brush works out. I was definitely planning on getting my brushes set up and stuff beforehand. But, ah, uh, you know, you know. Um, sometimes, sometimes things just don't work out that way. color there. This guy, all right, so we've got our pancake base. So the thing with these characters is essentially they're as literal as I can draw the food, but, but then they have arms, legs, and a face. Um, so. This one, I had the idea, let's see. Shoulders there.
Okay, let's look for a nice face on this. Hmm. Just typing angry face into Google isn't necessarily... I mean, it's giving me some good... No, it's not... Hmm. Okay, there we go. That's some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. Looking for some good... References are important, for sure. Something like that. I guess we'll just keep this brush. Kind of have, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick to kind of just loose, loose lines here. said just colors but you know I gotta I gotta have some lines the color is kind of a base and then just to give me a quick base rather than trying to draw something um, I don't know just mixing it up you know you know muscle there.
Good enough for now, good enough for now. Good morning. That's okay. No, no worries. It gave me a little bit. I was a little behind today. Uh, I didn't. I didn't quite have all my, um, all my stuff together. So I was, you know, winging it for the first couple of minutes. I was, you know, talk rambling so I could get my stuff together. But uh, awesome. Like what you see. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah, so. Um, trying something a little different today um kind of what Eli does um just starting off with like shape and a color base um and seeing seeing where that goes uh yeah we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes <laughs> This cake, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's quite the, the feisty, feisty cake, for sure.
good thing about just doing these little sketch things is that these hands don't need to be perfect. Well, but they need to look somewhat like a hand, so let's see. enough good enough for a sketch I think we'll can always come back to that one See, uh, how how are you doing this morning? I hope hope the coffee's hot and the the I don't know. I was gonna try and make a little I don't know a something there. I hope your coffee's hot. There we go. That's what that's all I got. That's all I got. I was gonna say the coffee's hot and the breeze is cool, but uh, if you're not sitting outside, then I hope your AC is cool. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, hands, I don't know. Hands are hard. Hands are tough. Um, so thank you. I appreciate that. Um, also, I'm glad the coffee is super hot. And I hope it's not like McDonald's lawsuit hot, lawsuit hot but. Okay, so we got a couple of hands, a couple of arms, and let's see. We want I don't know why, but for these characters it seems like the nose is something that I always draw first or I always think of first um, when when looking at these guys I don't know why, because I really, really do not draw noses, or I don't have a, well, I don't know, I guess I can't say that anymore. Maybe? I don't know. Um, I don't um, draw a whole lot of noses. Let's see, and I think, so this is... Okay. 
Uh, you do like to live danger dangerously. All right, all right. It's fair enough. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. You've you've seen enough of this to know that there's gonna be a face for sure on this. Um, well, I'm glad I can still kind of, you know, I kind of have some surprises here. That makes me, makes me a little happy. All right, all right. Just gotta figure out, like, mouth shape here. I don't like how big that was, but I'll make this a little smaller. Also, I don't know if I've shown any teeth on these guys before. Huh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I've drawn teeth on any of these guys. of a decent, let's see, should be, This time, uh, yes. Uh, welcome, welcome, elusive Elise. Uh, how's your morning going? He's he's got some chompers, that's for sure. That is for sure. But even more than that, I want to give him. I don't know. I was thinking this is probably so far. The, um, oh, maybe you should have super thick eyebrows. That would make sense with the whole shape of this guy. Uh, okay, okay. Or pancake, I don't know. Um, as a gender, gender neutral term, this pancake guy, dude, thing. Um, let's see, yeah, we're gonna give him, let's see. Okay, hang on. Let's move this maybe back down a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Okay. And I think then maybe... Well, alright, alright. We'll get back to that later. Um... He, he's pretty floofy, uh, but he packs a punch for sure. Data, data to work with. Okay, not, um, not, I probably wouldn't use happy in the same sentence as that maybe. I mean, I like, I like me a good, uh, a good, um, Excel sheet. Like, you know, I like, I like some good data. So I guess it all depends what data you're working with and yeah yeah well good i'm glad it's a good it's gonna be a good happy day then um just trying to 
to see how much I can push these eyebrows here before, let's see, let's maybe go then. Maybe that'll do it. We'll give him some kind of wonky. Wonky eyebrows. Oh, you know what it is? Uh, this one here does in fact have to be slightly Slightly lower than the other one. So let's maybe just like push it in a little bit. Mm. Okay, stats researcher, that makes that makes sense. Uh, story checks out. Okay, let's go ahead and get our other eyebrow in there and it worked. I don't know. I don't know why, but it worked a little better to draw the top of this eyebrow first. Hmm. Cake's eyebrows remind me of like the shape of a whale or some or like a maybe a dolphin or a small whale. I don't know. You know, just like right. And I think um, do whales have they have a little thing. There we go. Whale or and or dolphin. Or seal? I guess it could be like a little seal. Boop. Some whiskers. All right, all right, that's enough of that. All right, hang on here. Boop. Kevin is sleeping here, uh, just like sleeping on my footstool, so that is a little, a little unfortunate because I do like being able to use them. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. References are good, references are good.
want his eye to kind of be under the eyebrow ridge there. So we'll see. We'll see if I can make that work. I did like that line. We're going to keep it. I guess I want maybe the, the corners of his eyes to be a little rounder. All right. <laughs> ah, thank you. Yes, the he's the. I mean, this pancake has got cake, and his eyebrows got cake too. So, um, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, they're, you know, uh, they can be a little spicy, for sure. Um, it can be a little spicy. They, uh, they, yeah, yeah. Although the, the bite to punch ratio here is a little, you know, a little bitey, more punchy. Even know if he needs Let's just kind of see oh, I did definitely go to scratch my ear there that's not gonna work um, let's kind of just see what this is gonna look like That's probably close to what I had it on. I really do like... Oh, that's not what I need. Lasso. Okay. I do like kind of trying to make sure that some sort of anatomy makes sense. It's not necessarily... I don't want his eyebrows to come up mm, above this pancake line, but I think I could also fix that. Okay. Oh, 
brush. Okay. I just... I suppose I could just do that. I'm going to use some of that color to... Good, good, good. dude. I don't know if he needs, hmm, cheekbones? Maybe. I think that that's looking pretty good. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, that definitely is the vibe. Uh, hmm. Mutant cinnamon toast crunch cannibal. Uh, yeah, that's essentially that's almost essentially what what those things have devolved into, from per the last commercial I remember. Hey Just Sketch, how's it going on this fine Tuesday morning? Yes, we're still we're still very much in the morning. Um, yeah, how's your morning going? Oh, all right. Get get some of this hair off my neck here. Okay. Um, how? Be kind of interesting. Maybe maybe I can make it look like these shoulders just connect right into the face here. That would probably be ideal. sense. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to give him... not uh, he doesn't really need need lips or anything but I always like to just make sure I'm covering my anatomical bases you know like 
just in case. Yeah, I think that would work. Sorry, right, we're gonna jump in here real quick. Oop. Give you a nice close up. Decide to take off these, take off the lips later. Hmm. All right, one down. I'm only 22 minutes past what I was thinking my goal was, but that's okay because I think we might, in fact, get like three characters done today if we're lucky okay there's pancake um <laughs> thank you jess sketch i'm glad you're enjoying the pancakes this morning i hope i wish i wish for you pancakes on this fine day mm. all right so i have this english breakfast here so, all right, so again, trying to keep like all of these breakfast characters to make sure that they look like they exist in the same world. And so the theme for each character is like being able to pick out uh, what, the, what the main part of the dish is. I'm gonna jump to another screen for a minute, so hold on to your breakfast. Um, so the, the main kind of focus of the breakfast things is the uh, is the humanized part, the anthropomorphized part. Anyway, so the salmon on the bagels and lox, the the burger on the locomoco, and then the banana for this weird vegan breakfast hot dog thing. Um, so the problem I'm having with the English breakfast is that. I don't feel like there's like a main, a main focus on it or, you know, cause there's like, there's quite a few ways you can throw together an English breakfast from what I saw looking at breakfast, reference photos. But like, there's three different kinds of meat, um, there's a couple of different kinds of vegetables and or things yes i'm lumping mushrooms into vegetables just because they're you know uh just because just because um and then like beans potatoes eggs toast so that one i might hold off on or maybe oh that might be good okay maybe it's like a frankenstein thing it could be a frankenstein kind of a thing Favorite breakfast vegetable? Hmm, that's, that's, I mean, vegetables aren't, what? No, 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 hang on. Vegetables aren't for breakfast. No, that's, that's absolutely not. I guess there's tomatoes, but those are technically, technically a fruit, right? Hmm, hmm. Maybe favorite breakfast vegetable is parsley because typically it's decoration and I don't have to eat it. Boom, there we go. Answered the question. Maybe, oh, or is parsley like not a vegetable? Maybe it's bad. I don't typically have vegetables for breakfast. I don't know. All right, what everyone who's, who's in the chat there, uh, if you're participating in the chat, if you're just chilling, doing your own thing, no worries. But breakfast vegetables, what what are your guys' favorites? Uh, 
Um, hmm. All right, I'm gonna check out a couple of these other references and see if I feel immediately inspired by any of these. Um, this one would probably be fun. Um, so this cold pizza I kind of already had an idea for, but, hmm. Oh yeah, I suppose there's vegetables in, in omelets. Um, and I do have an omelet here, sort of. Yeah, I guess it's kind of an omelet. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, okay, well maybe maybe we'll go with this this thing. And see where that gets us. See, now I have to decide, is this thing gonna have omelet legs? Yes, probably. And they're probably gonna be so muscular. It's the biggest, stubbiest uh, thighs that I can give this thing. I thought there was another character that Bad Nana didn't really have it. have stubby thighs. I mean, definitely, definitely didn't skip leg day. Oh, maybe it was the burger guy. Sure, yeah, yeah, pizza, pizza definitely works. Uh, that's got vegetables on it, but I typically take the vegetables off. Yep, yep, can't have, okay, here's my problem with vegetables on pizza. Um, they're crunchy. The only thing I want crunchy on my pizza is like the crust or something like that, you know? Um, Like, I don't want half-cooked vegetables on, on my pizza. Why? Why would anyone want that? I mean, no, no, 
judgment, no shame if that's your deal. Somebody's gotta eat half-cooked vegetables. Okay, these legs are 100%. Just want them, maybe they've gotta be like super, they have to be totally a wide stance. All right. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. I mean, I can do some vegetables. I'm learning to eat vegetables on pizza. Yeah, whatever, they're good for you. Okay, I'll do it if I have to. Um, mushrooms, they're okay, because they're not crunchy. Uh, spinach, maybe, if it's not just like a whole leaf that like you know, you gotta like pull through the cheese as you're taking a bite and then like like chew on it like you know, you're I don't know, sitting in a pasture with some grass in your mouth. No, I don't wanna chew on a vegetable for three hours when I'm eating pizza. Uh I wanna eat the pizza and not have like spinach stuck in my teeth or have the aftertaste of vegetable. Um Okay. Um. Yeah, there we go. There's a uh, welcome to Hot Take Tuesday. Let's maybe get some of that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, vegetables that are acceptable on pizza, mushrooms, or, uh, green bell pepper, they don't do anything for me. I mean, the, I mean, the flavor with pizza, all right, I can see it, That's that could be fine. Maybe a severely roasted green pepper or bell pepper. Sure, I can do it, because then it's got that like nice little bit of char on it, and hopefully it's like soft and there's no crunch to it. Um, yeah, uh, so I, roasted vegetables, onions, bell peppers, uh, red onions I guess maybe, but roasted so there's that little bit of char on them, and they're not they're not like crunching up my pizza I mean, you know, that's just the next level question. Okay, that artisan pizza or chain pizzas, um, that entirely depends on, on the mood, flavor-wise, like, for sure, artisan pizzas, but there's a certain level of risk with that. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes they go too artsy and like it's one of those art projects where you're standing in front of the class and you're like, wow, okay, the professor's asking me, you know, X, Y, and Z about this. And you off the top of your head, oh no, I chose blue to go with the color uh, fuchsia because it symbolizes blah 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 and then I added this element because you know for the hashtag aesthetic and yeah it just becomes too much of an art project and it's mm -mm, not great um, but they definitely most times they're definitely Instagrammable they look great and more often than not they do they do taste better than just chain pizzas but that being said 
dominoes. D dominoes, I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong a lot of times with dominoes. Um, they just, they, they, yeah, it just, they do a decent job, a good job at what they do. Oh, okay, that, that I will absolutely agree upon. Okay, just sketch, all pizzas welcome. Uh, yeah, more or less the same as long as no vegetables, I'm cool with most pizzas, yeah. Uh, I mean, limited vegetable. I don't know. Pizza's pizza. You, it's, it's really, really hard to go wrong with it. Um, artisan pizza is, yeah, the crust is the best part, hands down. Totally agree with that. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, I, I would say that's probably an accurate statement. They've found a legal and or illegal way to bypass the FDA requirements and there's there's some pretty addictive drugs in in that uh, substances not not necessarily drugs but it's pretty addictive Decide how. Hmm. What kind of arms I'm giving this guy? And where his shoulders are gonna be? Definitely want. Think. Hmm. I'm definitely going to have to look up some some bodybuilder types uh, for this guy.
get a little, a little confusing to color later, but that's all right. That's all right. Oh, I did want to do. Okay. All right. All right. Um, this guy's definitely been through the ringer a little bit, but he's he's holding together pretty well. Okay. Maybe let's get some color. Not color. Not color. Line work. Oh. That'll be good. do that I'm gonna pull up some mm. some references references are what I'm looking for. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who is... Maybe that's kind of a good one. Mm-hmm. Okay. down first.
Oh man, I'm definitely going to have to draw rice again for this. Hmm. I mean, hmm. I guess I kind of, kind of know how to draw it now. Kind of. A good, good little workaround for drawing it. But, and there's only a little bit, I suppose. Shouldn't be too, too bad. He's just got like little omelet feet. Yeah, he's gonna have little omelet feet. <laughs> All right. Come back to that mess later. Maybe. Okay. I see a hydrate, thank you. Thanks for looking out for me.
All right, I'll come back to that hand later. That's kind of what I'm looking for. to get this guy a little kneecap.
Definitely gonna need some sriracha on him. Or ketchup? I'm gonna choose to believe that's sriracha. Maybe. It could be ketchup? I guess. I don't know. Um Okay, let's see.
Hmm. Thank you, Jeskech. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how this is this is turning out as well. Um I think I gotta jump in here to get the face though. Uh yeah, maybe I'm just gonna do the rest of my characters like this. You know? Um Forget starting with like an outline and like line work. Who needs to start with that? Definitely want this, this little omelet guy to be staring right into your soul. That's the goal here. Jump back to that layer. Give him what looks like maybe crispy at the edges of a crispy egg. I might have to change the color on that, but mm -hmm. I do want to give this thing some sriracha and or something something. So let's do that. Okay.
There we go. Just open. Ah, I did. All right, all right. That won't work. I know. I know what I did wrong here. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see, were the pizza toppings like a caveman or toga style? Uh, well, all right, yeah. Uh, hmm. Sometimes I use, sometimes I use food stuff as like, uh, kind of like clothing things, like this waffle thing. When I originally was was designing it or figuring it out, um, I was thinking like those those poofy uh like heavy winter jackets um yeah yeah um i think i i had thought for the pizza character to make like just a melted cheese kind of like battle skirt thing so it could it could happen it could work it could work I think I want a little bit on, a little bit on his face, maybe. Not on his face, maybe just his head. Don't want him to look too, too much like, you know, Simba though with this thing. gotta have just a little bit on his little feet. There we go. I think there's a second character. That is pretty good. And let's see if I can maybe, maybe get, I'll maybe throw some color down for one more and then we're getting pretty close to our time here. So, all right, uh, get our pizza one. I had an idea for that, but I was struggling with it. So I don't know if I want to do pizza. Hmm. It's a cyborg. Hmm. I might have to. All right. Nothing for that. Nothing for that. Huh. 
the avocado and toast. See, now here's my thought on this one. Both the avocado and toast are equally, like, important here. But toast would be a different character all on their own. Because, I mean, you can throw kind of anything on toast or bread or whatever. So for this specifically, the avocado should be the main focus? Mm hmm. Maybe it's like, uh... Maybe they're like a tag team of sorts. Oh, I need a toasty color. Go with that. Um, what shape toast do I want? Kind of like these. Hmm. Maybe not. We'll do an artisan home-baked bread shape, maybe then. I'll stick with that for now. No, this is definitely not the color of toast, but I'm gonna see if I can get this idea out real quick. gonna go with like avocado baby not necessarily a baby but it's definitely gonna be a little bit of mashed avocado that toast has the mobility, maybe. Um, the avocado packs the punch.
not sure what kind of... What kind of arms I'd give toast. This avocado thing. I wonder if he should just have like big arms, you know, like drooping down the side there. Mm. Let's go ahead and get this kind of line work in before before my brain forgets what it's doing here. that in mind. Oops. Hmm. Let's kind of add that shoulder in there. It's just going to have that. All right. See, with foreshadowing, you can draw less of the arm if you get it right. I guess this isn't the best color to be drawing that on. Just have to stay as a weird claw hand for now. I 
guess toast might have this weird kind of stubby stubby hands maybe quick faces on these maybe just to just to remind me what I'm doing here The eyebrows this thing is gonna have but it's just gonna be happy I think uh, and then this little green monster the nose here I think these wild eyebrows as well. anything this looks like that set of emojis that's like eyeball lips eyeball oh yeah for sure tiny tiny pupils Okay, so that's gonna be the general vibe I'm going for with these guys. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, that's that's what's going on. We'll take a quick, quick little run through uh, for the rest of these or for the other guys. Um, avocado and toast. I think this is gonna be the one. All right. Um, what else did we do? We got this little omelette guy he's looking real creepy um, I'm pretty satisfied with how with how this guy's looking um, mm-hmm mm-hmm <laughs> welcome to the tail end the review of the characters we've got going on elusive Elise let's see and then our pancake guy from the beginning 
Yeah. Yeah. Can you just, I mean, like, I can imagine this thing, like, just doing some kind of anime move, you know, just a spinning pancake, fists out. Pretty unstoppable in in my in my mind. Um, also, he's got four arms, you know, runs on all fours. It's it, it would not want to want to breakfast club with this guy. <laughs> Coming in hot cakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well said. Well said. Alrighty. Well, uh, that's that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for hanging out while I kind of just messed around with some colors and stuff. Uh, turned out turned out pretty good. Uh, maybe maybe I'll start doing this more often. Um, yeah. Okay. What? Let's see. Okay. Quick rundown. Uh, Got to remember. It feels like it's been like a month since last week. I don't know why. Uh, maybe not a month, but a long time. Okay. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, Eli will be on at 5 p.m. Then Thursday, we've got Carter at 2 p.m. And then Friday is Christopher at 3. I believe so. Yes, 3 p.m. Um, oh, wait. I know Sneaker Week. Does it start the middle of this week? I don't think Sneaker Week is starting today. Uh, I did miss Megan's Monday morning update yesterday, which she probably went over all that. Um, but yeah, if if you're keeping up with Sneaker Week, um, if you're into that, then follow the Wacom, the Wacom socials. Um, I know we're gonna be posting, I mean, probably like multiple times a day about all that. Um, and it should be fun. There should be some cool, cool stuff. Um, also, if you're down in Portland, um, there should be some event stuff going on at the Experience Center in relation to Sneaker Week. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, follow the, show, the socials to stay up to date with all that. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the chat later, later through the week or next week, Tuesday. Same time, same bat channel. This, that would have been too perfect if I would have I would have had my my end card ready my cuts ready and stuff uh, but here we go yes have a wonderful day everyone see you later <laughs>